Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part five of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit. So we're going to talk about exponents now. So an exponent is a way to raise one number to another number, which is, that's what an exponent is. It essentially means multiply two by itself five times, if we're looking at this example here. So if we think about that, the way that this is going to work is that we'll say variable power is equal to two, multiply, multiply, which together is going to, we're just going to call the exponent operator. And then the power of this is going to be 32 which is nice. So from here, we can talk about a slightly more complicated example with some context. So let us picture that we had uh, two variables, choices per category and numbers of categories. Now, take my word for this one, and then we'll walk through a demonstration where this is actually the case, where a total number of choices is going to be the choices per category raised to the power of the number of categories. So if we run this, we're gonna see that it's 32. But let's consider a different example. Let's go ahead and change this to number of categories as three because this will be easier for us to actually write everything out. So this more so than the other ones that we've gone over so far, uh, plus, minus, multiply and divide are rather easy to come up with examples for. Exponent, not so much. It's not as though examples don't exist, it's just that the examples require a little bit more to get into than we really know about right now. But there is one that we can walk through. So let us consider the case of burritos. We have three categories, because they're gonna be rather simple burritos. One is going to be flour or corn for the taco shell or the burrito shell. Then we're going to say white rice or brown rice. Mm, let's spice those up. Let's say cilantro, lime rice or uh, Spanish rice. Those sound good. And then for our cheese, we could say queso or jack cheese. Now let's start running through all of the options that we could create, and we're going to use uh, abbreviations. So we'll use F, C, um, L, S, Q, and J. Those will be the kind of identifiers. So we could have a flour uh, burrito with, boy, flour, like a shell, rice, and cheese. It's kind of unappetizing. Also, I'm not really sure that we could call that a burrito. Let's call these tacos. Anyway, we could have flour, uh, cilantro, lime rice, and queso. We could have flour, cilantro, lime rice, and jack cheese. We could have flour, Spanish rice, and queso. We could also have flour, Spanish rice, and jack cheese. Then, if we decided to have corn, we could have corn, lime rice, cilantro, lime rice, anyway, and queso. Then we could have corn with Spanish rice and queso. Sorry, not queso, jack cheese. Then we could also have corn, I'm losing it here, uh, Spanish rice, no, we messed up one here. We want, uh, this one's gonna be corn, cilantro lime rice, and jack cheese. And then the next one's gonna be corn, Spanish rice, and queso, and then corn, Spanish rice, and jack cheese. So if you think about it, that's actually all of the options that we could have, which if we count them up is eight, which is actually what two to the third power is. So that's our little proof of concept about how we have choices per category and the number of categories. Um, so, so good. We're going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters, num1 and num2, and returns the result of raising, uh, actually I already recorded this video and did it completely improperly, so let's just pretend we didn't see that. Um, I confused myself because there's a couple of different ways that you can do these sort of like very, very basic combination exercises, and I did the wrong one. So that video you're actually never gonna see, but that's why the answer was already there. Anyway, your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of raising num1 to the num2 power using the exponent operator, then return that variable. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, get power. So let's copy the stub of our function over here. And then we'll copy the test case. For those of you playing the home game, three to the fourth power is gonna be 81. We'll say variable result is equal to num1 raised to the num2 power. Then we're gonna return result. And if we run this, we should get should be 81 is 81. Excellent work. Let's go ahead and paste in our answer to the input window, run the tests, and we're in good shape. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.